I did three or four quick flights today for my comparison of fly tracks and drone share and things are going pretty good. Uh, here's the first one. It was four minutes, 57 seconds. It was actually truthfully. <laughs> There's no video for these today. That was an auto-tune. Yeah, I hadn't actually done it since some frame changes. So I just, and it was also in auto-tune when it went crazy down at the campground Saturday, rather than reorienting to armed yaw. So I wanted to get that auto-tune yawn and that uh, auto-tune done, and get that switch set back to armed yaw today. So that could never happen again. Well. Something else will happen, but not that thing. So there was, it took about 4 minutes and 57 seconds to do a complete re auto tune. Here that is. I'm going to look at the log analyst real quick. Uh, I think this is caused by the brownout. I'll have to look into this. Caused by a break in telemetry. Uh, all my telemetry antennas and stuff are kind of loose. I'll show more about that later. I've got some things I've got to do in 15 minutes. This is just a quickie. Let's go back up. Yikes. I need to change that. Uh, so then I did fly another little mission. Uh, it was just boring, playing around, playing around. And I did again. If I'm below s seven satellites, seven satellites are below, I get told. Also, there was a compass glitch here I need to talk to 3DR about. So that's still going really good with the drone share. Probably because it's done by 3DR. You probably should use the log sharing and uh, software collection they, that your creator uses. Now then, this time I went back in the house and I turned on my IMU data collection. Uh, still got that compass brownout thing. I understand completely. Uh, but I did turn on vibration and you can see my vibration values on that platform and the x-axis is 0.23 G's on the y-axis it's 0.48 G's on the z-axis it's 1.9 G's uh, when I did the vibration test during the build you do exactly the same thing during the build you go on in and you turned on the IMU data and you read these values. These values have to be something like above three or four G's to be bad. I'll find that later and clarify that one. But this vibration is so minuscule. It isn't even funny. And then I did fly one more flight, the fourth one. Uh, I wanted that vibration data. Um, turning on IMU collection, inertial management unit. That's what this craft uses if the compass and the GPS go out. It can only navigate by inertial. Inertia navigation. Anyway, it uh, takes clock cycles away from the CPU and slows down processing of everything else. So we don't normally use them. I'll leave that turned on. We turn it on for a short flight and we turn it back on. So I did turn it on for these two. I will probably go back and turn it back off. This was the end of the battery, so I did get a battery fail safe. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Still some strangeness in the compass. I'll have to look into that. No big deal. And the vibration. 0 0.39, 0 0.33, 1.69 on this run. Uh, vibration is not a f problem for this. Now I did also upload all of these to Flytrex. I'm running, whoops, crap, 
blah. I did also upload all of these to fly tracks. Uh, I got some things I've really got to do in about 10 minutes, and I will. Uh, later on tonight, after I get finished with that, I will come back and I'll show you the comparison of the Flytrex data to the drone share data. And I'll also show you how, it looks like to me, Flytrex has their wiring incorrect, which I need to get with Flytrex. Maybe get me a free Flytrex for solving that problem for them. Also, Flytrex came out with a new uh, box, and it's $189. I don't know what it does yet. I have to check into that later. <laughs> but uh, uh, somehow they've got another one. I, they even got their Core 2 down good yet in my humble opinion and it doesn't do that many other features than the other one uh, real quick do this real fast Ding. today I got my a couple of badges too I Today I got my 350 feet below the surface badge and my 200 feet below the surface badge. <laughs> I did get a good 458 flight, 450 feet, 25 feet away. This is good. This was a, one of the four flights. This one is another one, two minute little flight there. That was for a different reason. I come back in and change the uh, IMU settings so I could collect that data. That's two that are good. Uh, I think that one's bad. I'm going to go ahead and delete it for kicks and grins if I can find a place to delete it. Uh, no sense keeping all these bad ones in here. Uh, in fairness, I did get a bad one out of drone share today, too. Uh, this three-minute flight today, that would be correct, too. That was another one of the tests. Um, I think this one would be correct, too. I think most of all... No, here's the bad one. <laughs> I'll go delete that one later. Uh, boy, was I flying at 6,261,613 miles an hour. I have to find a way to delete that one. Delete that one later, but that's... Ah, uh, Flytrex, you got four of my missions correct, threw in a couple of uh, uh, bad ones. But, by the same token, uh, drone share... See if I can find that real quick. Oh well. I go back in history to get to it. <laughs> Drone cheer actually did a, a strange one on me too. I'm gonna delete it right now. Drone cheer did me a mission where I went. Uh, only had one hiccup in the drone cheer. And that was a mission where I went from uh, near Nova Scotia. I was in Nova Scotia, Halifax. I went from Hal near out in the ocean in, in my yacht at Halifax inland and then way out in the middle of the ocean. And I did it in no time at all. I have now developed a uh, teleportation device. And I went basically 30,000 feet in altitude. Uh, just in mere seconds, out and back. Uh, really easy to delete these in drone share. We'll go ahead and delete them. I have to go back and figure out how to delete the bogus ones out of Flytrex. It's going to give me a lot to do in the next months while I'm comparing every logging and sharing program I can find. So you can see here's my four flights on the 5th and here's my four flights today other than throwing in that one in Canada the uh, drone chair did great absolutely spectacular we can do all the
movie stuff and all that junk anytime we want to. But I really must go take a shower and get ready. I really, 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 really must. Well, I'll pick this back up when I get back.